Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullah. Uh, I recently watched a video of yours saying that um, for women, we should cover the lower parts of our necks. So um, if should I remind every woman I see about it? And if I'm praying in a congregation with other women, do I have to also, is my prayer valid? If the one that's leading it is has their neck uncovered, not knowing the ruling on it. Okay, so let us get things, first of all, straight. What's the ruling on a woman praying while exposing other parts of her body other than the face and the hands? The vast majority of Muslims, they say that this is totally prohibited because she's ordered to cover everything in her body with the exception of the face and the hands. And there is an issue of dispute in regards of the feet, but it is a weak opinion. So even the feet have to be covered. Now, if a woman exposes her neck, and I've seen this with some Westerners, and they, especially reverts, who come to Islam, and some of them want to tailor Islam to their liking. So instead of covering like Muslims, they just simply wear a headscarf that covers their hair with their necks, with part of their chests exposed, and they call themselves hijabi. No, you're not hijabi. Who are you fooling? Allah Azza wa ordered you in the Quran to lower your garments and to cover your bosoms and whatever comes underneath your face. And some scholars say, no, you have to cover also your face. And this is the most authentic opinion. Even though, even those who say you don't have to cover your face, they all agree that you have to cover your full body, including the neck and your earlobes and your, the back of your neck. And what is this? And we've see, we see this among celebrities who call themselves Muslims in the West. And they have nothing related to Islam. Unfortunately, maybe they have Muslim names, Muslim heritage, but they do not relate to Islam. They support LGBTQ rights and they have to have these rights and they have, they have all the rights to do their filth and to practice it and to marry the, the same gender. They have these rights. And what about Islam and Quran? So no, 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 if Islam and Quran says otherwise, I don't believe in it. Okay, say it loudly so that people would identify you as an apostate or a non-Muslim, rather than saying, no, 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 I am Muslim and I advocate Muslim and people attack me because I'm Muslim, the Islamophobe is everywhere. And then you come with these bombshells and you throw them on Islam and Muslims, destroying and uh, 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 trying to uh, um, destroy everything that Islam calls for. You're not a Muslim, a real Muslim. So take a second look at your belief and come up front. Be sincere to everybody. Don't beat around the bush. Don't use Islam. Now, when we come to the issue of covering during prayer, this is prayer. It's not my thing or your thing. This is governed by the Quran and Sunnah. If a woman prays while exposing her neck and part of her uh, uh, chest and she's leading prayer and she knows this, her prayer is invalid and those praying behind her, their prayer is invalid as well. Is it my responsibility to tell every woman with diplomacy, with uh, kind preaching and knowledge? Yes. If you see them, sister, this, what you're doing is wrong. Your prayer would be invalid. Here is the fatwa. And alhamdulillah, Islam Q&A.info the most famous Islamic website in the world, the most visited Islamic website in the world. This website has authentic and reliable fatwas. Just get a printout and put it in the masjid and circulate it around the women and Allah knows best.